Dear colleagues, we'd like to share with you how to visualize in modern autologic surgery. We've all been trained using the microscope for middle ear surgery, which was invented in the early 1920s, but really came into the market in the 1950s with Littmann and Zeiss and the OPMI microscope. Nowadays, we use highly sophisticated microscopes with maybe augmented reality. We all record in 4K quality, even in 3D. But the microscope is not able to look around corners. This is why Zini invented the small mirror, which allowed the surgeon to look into the sinus tympani to verify the complete accentuation of cholesteatomas. Interestingly, the invention of the endoscope by Hopkins and Stortz took quite a while until it was implemented in autology. Only at the end of the century, an international working group developed endoscopic middle ear surgery. Nowadays, we discuss new inventions such as the exoscopes, which started exactly 10 years ago with the Vitom camera by Stortz, later by the Orbi of Olympus, and finally by the robotic scope by BHS Munich Company. But we have to define what kind of ear surgery do we mean? We subspecialize ear surgery into the middle ear surgeon, the otologists. He's the perfectionists working with ossicles, improving hearing, closing tympanic membrane perforations. Whereas the temporal bone surgeon does a lot of drilling. This is mainly subtotal petrosectomies. And finally, the lateral skull base surgeon has techniques of neurosurgical skills as well as head and neck surgery, and he works mainly with or around the facial nerve. Whereas the microscope is the workhorse for all three types of surgeons, the endoscope allows through a narrow external ear canal to visualize the middle ear perfectly with minimal invasive techniques, no visible or hardly visible skin incision, and therefore fast wound healing and almost no pain. But you would not want to drill a subtotal petrosectomy with an endoscope in one hand and a 2D vision. But in lateral skull by surgery, interestingly, the endoscope has changed a lot. Whereas angiophygromas were removed with a large type C approach, Nowadays, our colleagues from anterior skull base surgery have taken over for this specialty. In CPA lesions, the endoscope may add the microscopic surgeon in visualization of the correct and proper field. But let's discuss the new developments of the exoscopes, and I'd like to focus on the Orbi by Olympus and the robotic scope by BHS Munich. The Orbi is a 3D picture, which is taken from a camera held in front of the surgeon, focusing on the surgical field, and it can be manually placed over the surgeon's field. The surgeon himself, as well as his assistant, they watch into a large 3D screen, and they wear 3D glasses to see properly the surgeon, surgery going on. Here you see the intraoperative view of an orbi at the beginning of a temporal bone surgical procedure. The picture quality is outstanding. It's usually recorded in 3D. This is why you see it at the moment in two levels. But if you focus now on the 2D screen, you see excellent visualization. The fat, even each fat cells, it appears that you can see with this high quality 4K definition of the Orbi exoscope. It has even been implemented in the COVID area. Uh, this is a publication of an exoscope by Olympus, 
being draped in a way that there is no dust coming from a COVID positive patient to the surgeon himself. On the other hand, the robotic scope is also an exoscope with a camera 3D placed over the surgeon's field, but the surgeon himself, he looks into 3D virtual glasses and he can even control the robotic scope using his head position. Here, the surgeon in a temple bone lab is holding the 3D glasses and he watches only into the 3D glasses and he can control here at live surgery the position of the robotic scope over the surgeon's field. By moving the head up and down, the robot will change its position accordingly. Also, the picture quality is outstanding. Here we show a lymph vessel anastomosis performed by Dr. Scaglione at the Lucerne Hospital. And there's excellent picture and high resolution quality of these exoscopes. So to summarize, the microscope still is the workhorse for all types of middle ear, temple bone, or lateral skull base surgery. The endoscopes have really improved the vision into the middle ear, working through the ear canal, but it's a 2D view. You would not use it for larger temple bone surgeries, but in the lateral skull base surgery, as I showed you in the beginning, it's an interesting tool which may change the approaches to some of the special lesions in the temple bone. The exoscope, such as the Orbi or the robotic scope, are not ideal for working through a narrow ear canal, but they are, or maybe even better than a microscope in larger fields such as temple bone surgery or in the field of lateral skull base surgery. I'm quite convinced that the next years we will still train our otologists in our temporal bone labs and courses using microscopes. But maybe the future, as it says here, to ensure the best cut, you need options. Maybe the option in the future may be newer and better developments of this exoscope for the next generation of autologic surgeons. Thank you for watching and listening.